What's up, y'all? This is Trapzilla, man. And today I'm about to show you guys how to change your car's oil. Now, the first thing that you want to do is you want to get some ramps because that's what I'm choosing to do. I'm changing uh, the oil, a oil in a Kia Soul. So the first thing you want to do is drive the car into the ramps and you want to chalk off the back of the wheels with wheel chalks. So I'm using that as well. And then the, and then the next thing you want to do is you want to open the cap to where the engine is. It makes the oil flow out better when you drain it. So most of it, all, really all of it gets out. Now I lost footage of putting in new oil, but where my hand was and twisting the cap off, that's where the oil goes. But I am gonna make another video of changing oil, you know, just to show you guys. So it's more in depth, more in depth with it. So then the next thing that you need to do is you need to get a ratchet and a socket and I believe that this drain bolt to this engine takes about a five eighths. So, uh, and remind you, by the way, it's counterclockwise. Please do not strip the bolt or do not damage the threads on the bolt. So you click it to the left, you loosen it, and then you wanna screw off the drain bolt the rest of the way. And please, mind you, please wear gloves because I did not, I left gloves, I didn't have any, and I had to wipe my hands off multiple times because oil is not good for your skin, it's really not. Now to get to the oil filter, you see I have a couple attachments, I got a couple oil, oil filter sockets, but since I'm missing an extension because it had panels, I'm gonna show you how to get it off with an oil wrench. Now before I get it off with the oil wrench, I'm just gonna clean up where the drain bolt is right where the engine is, and then I'm gonna screw the bolt back in. Now, uh, I have to show you guys distinctly, it's the same way taking off an oil filter, but since I gotta stick the oil filter wrench up, it's gonna be deceiving to look on which direction to turn, but I will show you guys the direction to turn. Now, the one thing that you wanna do when tightening this bolt with the ratchet is, do not over tighten it. You just want it snug. So when you screw it on with your hand, and as you see, I got more oil on my hand, so I gotta wipe it off again. Like I said, please wear gloves. It's essential. If you don't have gloves, you're gonna be doing a lot of wipe, a lot, a lot of wiping that you guys will be doing. So please remember to wear gloves. So now, as I told you guys, as you clean off the drain bolt to the engine, you tighten it a little bit with the ratchet. You know, you don't want it over tighten because you don't want to break or damage the thread or the bolt. Now, as I said, you just switch it to the other side to the right because it is counter clockwise. So you click it to the right and that is how, <clears throat> sorry, tightening works. Now, once it starts to get tight, tight, you know, you just want to give it like a little, little snug. You don't want it too tight, but you want it snug. So what I do is I just go there, clamp it on, snug it, and then a quick little pull, quick little snug, and then it's there. So as I just showed you guys, the direction that you want to turn the oil filter branch is you want to bring it to your left looking up. So where the top clamp is, where one clamp is, you want that to go counterclockwise because it's counterclockwise for loosening and it's clockwise for tightening. I hope I said that right. But as, excuse me, you guys just saw I got more oil on my hands. This time, I think it was unavoidable because the oil filter is up in there. So it's like I had no choice. I think even with gloves, it would have got on either most of my gloves or some of it. So, but this is the oil that it takes. It takes 5W20. One thing that you want to do is since the oil filter is going up in the engine, you want to pre-fill the oil because you don't want the engine to run dry. You don't want the oil filter to run dry because uh, the oil filter, if it has none in it, it could like you know, cause something like a little, little tweak or bug with the engine. We want the engine to last as long as it can. So you just want to pre-fill it. You know, you just want to go in, 
fill it a little bit and where the o-ring is you just want to wipe that down with a little bit of tab of oil now you see i'm tightening it to my right like how uh and a good example i would be is you know like when you're screwing something and putting a bolt on when you turn it to the right that's the direction you want to turn the oil filter like when you first use your hand to tighten a you know a nut turn it to the right by the way make sure everything is hand tight okay make sure everything is hand tight for the oil filter you don't want to damage the threads on that as well as i showed you guys in the video uh, one side is quartz, one side is liter. I believe in the owner's manual, that car takes five and a half quartz. I believe that is almost at like five and three fourths, so there's a little oil left. But after you fill the engine with more oil, you put the cap back on, take it off the ramps, you know, take off the wheel chocks. As I said, everything should be running and sounding smoothly and just make sure you dispose of the oil correctly and make sure that there isn't any spills anywhere because that'll be contaminating and hard for the environment. But that's a video I choose to made for you guys. And hopefully that helps anybody who wants to learn how to change their oil. I am, like I said, gonna make another video of changing oil in any car because it could have been better like i said i lost footage but i'm going to show you guys how to change oil maybe someone who has a kia soul could learn from that and anyone who doesn't have an extension and have an oil filter wrench can maybe learn you know how to take off the oil filter but that's the video i hope you guys like it i hope you guys enjoy the video make sure you like comment subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.